The Chinese invented the first toothbrush around 1600, but it wasn't until about 1780 in England that it became a mass-produced item. Like those that followed, its bristles came from the necks and shoulders of pigs. In the late 1930s, synthetic materials replaced natural swine bristles. These toothbrushes should make you want to flash your pearly whites in appreciation if you consider that thousands of years ago, people used twigs to clean their teeth. Today's toothbrush begins as little plastic pellets. A vacuum sucks them up into an injection mold machine. The machine melts the pellets into a kind of plastic dough, then injects it into a stainless steel mold, forming 10 toothbrush handles at once. The head of each handle has up to 56 holes for bristles. This machine generates 10 handles every 35 seconds. That works out to 27,000 handles in 24 hours. Now they melt blue rubber pellets. They pipe the liquid rubber into the mold with the white toothbrush handles, then press the rubber onto the handles to form a grip. So now you have a toothbrush you can really hang on to. No dropping this one in the sink. They use this semi-clear plastic to produce another type of grip, one that's softer and more pliable. It's called the gummy brush because the grip really does feel a bit like one of those gummy candies. These nylon fibers will form the bristles. A robotic arm pats them down so that they sit very evenly. Then, faster than you can blink an eye, the machine feeds the bristles into the holes in the head of the toothbrush handle. This machine works at a blurring speed, filling 900 holes per minute. And it operates with incredible precision. Here's the bristle selection process in slow motion. The machine selects between 22 and 24 bristles for each hole in the brush. With 56 holes per toothbrush, that adds up to over 1,300 bristles for each brush. This fully automated system works faster than any human ever could. And here's another advantage. A human hand rarely has to touch the bristles, so the process is incredibly hygienic. Wondering what holds the bristles in place? Wire. The machine bends the fibers in half, anchoring them to the brush with wire in the middle. Now it's time for a brush cut. These blades trim the bristles to about the same length. Another set of blades sculpts different types of edges, depending on the toothbrush model in production. These may look like spinning tops, but they're rotating discs coated with diamond dust, a mild abrasive. They sand the edges of the bristles to produce a particular finish. For instance, the bristles can be straight or zigzagged. Different finishes have different tooth cleaning effects. You may have noticed that some bristles are white and others are blue or another color. This is purely aesthetic a nifty color combination to make the toothbrush look smarter. And of course, the machine knows exactly which color goes where. So you end up with a two-tone brush like this one. Every so often, the factory pulls a toothbrush off the assembly line for a spot check. A robot arm tugs at the bristles to make sure they're secure enough. And if the brush passes the test, the rest of the production run is cleared for sale. Then, a robotic system packages the brushes so that they come right off the line ready for shipping and ready to maintain toothy smiles everywhere. <laughs>